Well, praise God, praise God. You know, I just love it when God's Spirit just keeps prompting what needs to be released. And uh, what I'm about to share with you is going to bless you absolutely. It is very complicated life. And especially when you face victory, the greatest challenge always comes after facing a battle that you have won. And we know that the battle belongs to the Lord, right? And so when you go through a battle in life and you have a great victory, then the biggest challenge will come what next how you will conduct that victory or that breakthrough or what are you going to do with the next thing that comes into your life and so in uh, judges chapter 15 judges chapter 15 something unique unique happened right there and it's just a very quick principle that I want to share with you. In Judges 15, you find that uh, Samson was bound by ropes through a Delilah spirit that tried to come against him repeatedly, nagging him and trying to control Samson uh, with her emotional love that she had for him. And Samson every time would reveal to her in toy toying with her, well, why don't you just bound me with new ropes and, you know, that way I can become subdued uh, because he had this tremendous power. He was a real charismatic, charisma kind of individual. And uh, God used him, of course, mightily. But there's a very dear lesson that we're going to learn in just a few minutes. And Samson subjected himself to toy toying with a demonic spirit that came through Delilah. She bound him, and then, of course, the Philistines were upon him, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. And the ropes, they just broke off him. They just fell off him like flax. And here it comes. Get ready. He saw an old donkey's jawbone. And he picked up that jawbone, which was cast away, an old donkey's jawbone. But the Spirit of God came upon him. That means God can take anything that is cast away and bring about a profoundness to that very uh, thing. God bless you, Roscoe. Love you. And when the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, he took that donkey's old donkey's jawbone. But watch, there's a big revelation coming. And he killed off 1,000 enemy tactics, 1,000 Philistines, 1,000 accusations, 1,000 different kinds of emotional attacks. It could be whatever. But here's the key before I close. Don't miss this now. Because this is just a short broadcast. After that victory with the jawbone, Samson took that jawbone of the donkey and he cast it away. Samson never made a monument out of that old donkey's jawbone, meaning that just because he had a previous uh, just because he had a previous, let me just see if I can bring this up on your screen here. There we go. Uh, 
let me just see let me just bring this back here there was supposed to be another picture but that's okay uh, just because Samson had that victory with that jawbone here is a challenge now he did not make a statute out of it he did not in his mind say well with a jawbone I killed a thousand Philistines and that's the way we will conduct the church from now on that's the way I will conduct my life I will use that same donkey's old castaway jawbone that means I will use that same method in the future I will use that same method over and over in the future and that is where the church can make or a leader make the biggest mistake in life and that is just because the Spirit of God came upon you your uh, congregation or the ministry you had a great victory previously does not mean that exactly the same method needs to be used for the next season of your life and Samson took and that that is in Judges 15 Samson took that old donkey's jawbone that he just had a great victory with it he just had a great victory with it and he took that and he cast it away you know it's like glasses I normally wear my glasses but I didn't want to now if these glasses they get too old and I keep wearing them and my vision becomes obscure because my uh, they, they took uh, old now and I cannot read properly and so forth what happens if I keep holding on to the old glasses I'm gonna start straining my eyesight I will start uh, developing maybe headaches having to strain to read there comes a time uh, and by the way you, you can lose focus there comes a time in life where you take that old donkey's jawbone I mean the old glasses and you have to do away with it and get a fresh pair with Samson for instance that old donkey's jawbone had he made a monument of stagnancy a monument of uh, tradition a monument of repetition a monument of uh, a tradition this is the way we will do it and that's the way it's going to be from now and that is the danger because faith never conforms faith always reform I'm gonna say that again faith never conforms faith always reforms that means the method like the Israelites with the Ark of the Covenant when they faced that Jordan River God said to Joshua let the priests carry that ark into the Jordan and when their feet touched the waters the flood of upstream was cut off and a pathway came forth for the Israelites to cross over now watch the same thing in the ne in, in next few chapters uh, the same ark same priests they're facing now the walls of Jericho watch this now same people same leader but God changes the pattern he says now put trumpeters in front of the ark he changes the pattern God is not a God of conformity because if we keep holding on to a set old religious pattern it eventually gets to us we become not just stiff and starchy but religious and we become 
traditional and no longer moving by faith, but we're moving out of conformity of familiarity. God changed the pattern. The walls of Jericho, same Ark of the Covenant, same priesthood carrying it. This time, he says, I want some trumpeters in front. And this time, you walk around it for six days and on the seventh day, seven times, then let the trumpeters make a sound and let the congregation shout. God bless you. May this short uh, little insight produce life. Avoid allowing yourself to become a so traditional or uh, avoid yourself becoming stagnant in thinking. Just because that old jawbone killed off a thousand Philistines does not mean that I will use the same old jawbone for my future challenges. Because life changes. And so the word of God is a proceeding ongoing word. Get fresh revelation, strategize freshly, set fresh goals, and avoid the trap of falling in a religious mindset of a religious, a religious God bless you, uh, uh, Johan, avoid falling into a religious mindset. This is the way it is. This is the way it's going to be. Jesus changed his methods constantly. When he healed uh, people with blind eyes, at one point he will lay hands, at another point he will make a, a mud with his saliva, uh, place it on the man's eyes, go and wash in the pool of Siloam, and so on and so forth. The point I'm making is that when you move by the Spirit of God, you will never become stagnant because God is doing a new thing every day. The only thing is, are we willing to be flexible wineskins? Until next time, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for sharing this message and posting it on different people's uh, lines, you know, uh, after you got some permission from them. God bless you. Love you. Thank you. And have an awesome day further. Bye now.